Hi, I'm Ludovic de saint saint Welcome to my studio in Paris. You always look at the past to think of the future, I mean, at least for me, um, and how to better yourself and, and grow and improvement um, and more happiness too. I don't think so. I think you have to be thinking of the future all the time because the way the system works, you have to think of the future and what you'll be wearing next. Uh, we're really lucky with LDSS, with my brand, to be able to mix thinking about the future and living in the moment. And I think that's really important. If you think of future for fashion, it can be a bit gimmicky to think that we're gonna be wearing ridiculous costumes in 20 years time because the past always influences the future and also informs the way we're gonna you know reference the things that we grew up with and that we miss because maybe you haven't been wearing this specific top since you're a teenager and you miss that because you're a different person now one thing that we really do at LDSS is take really big fashion moments for women's wear um, and then translate it into menswear today. And I love the idea of like creating garments that are kind of like an odd to the past and at the same time looking to the future and being very current and now. For the newest collection that I'm making and something that I haven't had the chance to do for so long was um, to go on a trip and to be inspired by a trip. And I went to Lanzarote a couple of months ago and that was a huge inspiration and I even forgot that that can inform your work and inspire you um, because we've been in lockdown for so long and so just being able to be in new territories and see something new and discover something was such a big thing. Be able to tell a story that is impactful for your generation, but also for the future generation. Especially now, uh, mentality is evolving so quickly and we're going through so many things and updates that I think that like fashion needs to be a reflection of that too. And it's important to tell these stories, whether they're uh, social stories or personal stories that can influence and make people relate to what you do in terms of like fashion because it's not just about the clothes it's also about what your message is more and more what we're looking for with fashion is to be able to have brands and houses that people can have a more direct relationship with and be able to identify themselves with the brand and really stand for it and i think you know developing a, a really organic and authentic relationship with the people that follow your work is going to be crucial and to be able to be transparent i would love to be able to find a studio where i can house my amazing team and continue to work with everyone that I work with here in Paris and scaling up the brand. What's important for me um, would be to look at the clothes that you buy in a way that you want to cherish them and keep them forever. Even though we create new collections every six months, I feel like people make a more considerate buy and the way they consume fashion and they're more selective. There's not as much like fast fashion consumerism and I think that's like really important to just like be mindful of what you buy and how you buy it. I think what, what's concerning is just like making sure maybe to keep a healthy relationship with social media and just make sure that you get time off of it. And actually right now is a very interesting time because I feel like people are finally able to uh, leave their houses and live their life and be in the real life and in the real moment, not so much digitally anymore. I think it was interesting to see that social media like managed to keep us together during this hard times, but uh, it's also not necessary in real life every day all the time. Uh, so just keeping a healthy relationship with that I think will be great. 
everything excites me about the future. I think um, with where we're at now with the brand, there is so much potential. My new thing that I want to explore really is women's wear and just like how to define our women and what stories we're going to be telling with that. It's going to be really interesting. I wish to be able to keep doing that for the rest of my life, really. Let's see. One thing that always stays constant would be just inspiration. Travel will always be a source of inspiration and I think that's, that's will always inspire people.